So E3 is just around the corner and I am expecting quite a bit of Halo stuff to be shown there. For example, maybe a teaser for Halo 6. Because, I mean, we haven't seen a Halo game in three years. Like, obviously, Halo Wars 2, that only released last year. But, you know, uh, I mean, one of the main titles. You know, the last main Halo title game we got was Halo 5 Guardians, of course, and that was back in 2015, you know. We haven't seen a main game since then, you know, other than Halo Wars 2. But yeah, so I'm expecting uh, something related to Halo 6 to be shown, because there just has to be, you know what I mean? Because, I mean, uh, 343 seem to be doing this three-year gap thing, so you have Halo 4, which was released in 2012, and then Halo 5, which was released in 2015, and I think uh, Halo 6, this will be released in 2018, maybe at the end of the year. It could even be early next year, anything will be fine for me. But yeah, um, I'm really looking forward to seeing if anything Halo 6 related gets announced, so yeah, that will be cool. So another thing that I think will be shown is uh, Halo Reach coming to Halo The Master Chief Collection. So obviously on Halo The Master Chief Collection we've got Halo Combat Evolved, Halo 2, Halo 3, Halo 4 and Halo 3 ODST. But you see, here's the thing, um, a lot of people like me really want Halo Reach to be on Halo The Master Chief Collection. So what I think what they'll do is they will announce at uh, E3 that they're actually bringing that, because that will just make sense to do that, you know what I mean, to have that be announced. Because uh, it is most likely, in, in all honesty, you know, it's more probable than Halo 6 being announced, so, yeah, I do think that there will be Halo Reach coming to Halo to Master Chief Collection, because it will just make sense for it to, you know what I mean? So, yeah, that will be a most probable thing, Halo Reach being announced coming to Halo to Master Chief Collection, so, yeah. Now, another thing that I want to be announced at E3 Halo related is... Uh, the classic Halo games like Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2, the original Xbox games, coming to Xbox One as backward compatible. So one thing that I've wanted for quite a few weeks is because I have the old casings for Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 that are like the original Xbox discs. And you know, I just don't want to let them waste away, so it'll be cool if uh, Microsoft actually bring the original Halo games to Xbox One and make them compatible, you know, backward compatible, you know, that would be really cool if they done that, and if they announced that at E3, that Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 would be backward compatible on the Xbox One, so if Halo Combat Evolved and Halo 2 become backward compatible on the Xbox One, that would be really good for me, because then I'll actually be able to play my original discs on the Xbox One, so yeah. Um, I'm really looking forward to if they do announce something like that, because that will be really cool. So, yeah. So, what do you guys think will be the most likely thing to be announced at E3? Do you think all the things I said will be announced at E3, like Halo 6, which I think that's there's at least a 75% chance of that happening, and uh, Halo Reach coming to Halo to Master Chief Collection, I think that's at least a 90% chance of that happening, and the original Halo titles becoming backward compatible on the Xbox One, I think there's at least like a 30% chance of that happening. Yeah, just let me know what you guys think because uh, I'll be very interested to know. Because, like, we we need a new Halo 6 teaser. We need, we need a Halo 6 teaser because it's been three years since the last main Halo game. And Halo Reach coming to Halo Master Chief Collection, you know, everybody's wanted that and... Then last but not least, a personal favourite of mine would be the original Halo games coming to Xbox One as backward compatible, you know? Because that would be actually really cool, you know what I mean? Everybody would love that if the original Halo games become backward compatible on the Xbox One. Like, people like me would love that, you know? Because it would be cool having all the original menus and stuff, having all the original stuff like that, you know? And yeah, because that would be like really cool, you know? and just experiencing it in its uh, original form, you know, that is quite cool, you know what I mean? It's like when Halo 3 became backward compatible on the Xbox One, you know, like I immediately just installed it, you know, and just seeing the original menu and all that, you know, it was great, you know what I mean? And to have the original Xbox uh, Halo games become backward compatible, that would be really cool, so if they do announce the E3, I'll be really happy about that, so yeah. 
And, uh, anything Halo 6 related would be good if they just have, like, a 30 second teaser. That would be good, you know. And, uh, yeah, you know, it's most probable that will be... There could be a full-on trailer, even. But, yeah, I don't really know. You know, we could see something Halo related, which I really hope to see. So, yeah, anything, like, Halo 6 related, that would be great. And so, Halo Reach coming to Halo Master Chief Collection, that is a most probable thing that they will announce. I do think that. So, yeah. Anyways, guys, that's the end of this video. Uh, if you did enjoy, don't forget to like and subscribe. And so, yeah, I'll see you all soon in the next video. And also, uh, tell me what you think will be announced at E3 Halo related. Do you think Halo 6 will be announced? Or Halo Reach coming to Halo Master Chief Collection? Or the original Halo titles coming as backward compatible to Xbox One, because that would be really cool, you know what I mean? So, yeah, anyways, guys, I'll see you all soon. Bye-bye.